currently waiting for sunset right now, which is probably going to be like another 15 minutes until it's pretty good. And then I'm waiting till it's night, which is going to be another hour after that until it's probably like fully dark. And I've already been here an hour, already launched a drone once, but just got to wait a little bit longer and it's going to be up in the sky and we're going to be getting some crazy shots. So that is the plan. So for the pre-workout meal today, we have two packets of oats, this 60 calorie yogurt, a banana, I'm going to drink this big glass of water, bring that with me, and then for pre-workout we have one scoop of the non-stim euphoria and just one scoop of black cherry. So about to eat all this and then we're going to head over to the gym. <laughs> arrived at the gym I'm about to go in and train legs but it's currently 70 degrees out so it's starting to feel like summer again probably gonna have the garage door open and it's been raining the past like two weeks here in Colorado so it's finally nice that we have some really nice weather again but I'm probably not gonna be too strong on squats today I'm not feeling the best right now I'm still recovering from that 600 for three and that 640 deadlift I did like five days ago. So this is gonna be my first like time doing a heavy compound movement since then. Hopefully can maybe do four plates for a single or a few reps. We'll kind of see how I'm feeling when I get in there. So yeah, about to grab my bag and go and hit this leg day. So let's get it. In love with you Had to be the dumbest thing that I could do You're about the loveliest that I could choose You You're here with me Even though you're gone and I'm in NYC Thoughts as I sit silently 
Okay, so I just finished up that leg day and I actually squatted 405 for three at like RP 8-ish, 8.5. It was still pretty heavy, so my squat is down a decent amount from where I was at, but I'm also down like around 13 pounds from my peak bulk. Obviously, a lot of that's gonna be water weight, just like food in your stomach, glycogen, all that. So my strength probably took like 20 to 30 pound hit on my squat bench and my deadlift is actually at an all time high right now. It's up like almost 30 to 40 pounds. And the biggest reason for that is because number one is consistency. I've never been so consistent with my deadlift and I've been shifting all my focus towards that. And consistency is just the number one thing to bring you up any lift. And as I get closer to the 700, I wanna start training deadlift three days a week, only squatting once a week. So if you really wanna bring up a lift, I would definitely recommend hitting it three days a week. And that's what I've done for years with my bench press. Also, another reason my deadlift's been going up so much is because I've heard a lot of people say it in the past. I've heard Lex say it and a few other power lifters saying that when you get leaner, their deadlift actually goes up. And I was always like, oh shit. I always feel like when I'm leaner, my deadlift's just doing so much better. And when I bulk super hard, my deadlift's just not doing as well. And that's actually because you can get into a better position on your deadlift when you're leaner. So that's been another reason I've been able to bring my deadlift up. You're not all just like fat and watery, just like muscle fucking lift up. So when I go back into a surplus after this pretty hard cut and start eating more food, getting more energy, but I'm still pretty lean, like around 10, 11% body fat, that's when my lifts start blowing up the most because my positioning is amazing. And I also look the most insane because I'm super lean coming off of a cut and I just start filling out. You're not just gonna like start packing on fat right away. That takes like a lot of time. So the first like month or two of like a lean bulk after an aggressive cut is when you look your absolute best. And that's usually what Dev and I do in the fall. So what I've been trying to do is limit my carbs. And I always used to like a higher carb diet when I was younger. I was like, oh, high carbs, like good glycogen, good pumps, better energy. But the thing is, is that fat is what's gonna keep your hormones functioning well and keep everything like super high and running nice. So I've been really liking the high protein, high fat and lowering my carbs a little bit. So for dinner, I'm not gonna do any rice. I'm just gonna do a half pound of beef and avocado and just one tablespoon of honey and mix that all together. And you guys have to try it because it doesn't sound like it'd be that great, but it actually tastes insane. Maybe I'm just getting pretty deep in the cut and anything tastes good, but I really do think it tastes really good. So yeah, I'm about to go home, make that, then do three scoops away, recover from this leg day, and I'll probably catch you guys maybe tomorrow for a push day, so we'll see. here to get a new phone because my iPhone 12 it literally has just been dying so fast so I'm about to go in and pick up an iPhone 14 and another reason I want the 14 is because the camera is just so much nicer and I do take a lot of pictures and videos on my phone but Devin is actually already here he's at the Apple store he had an appointment earlier today so he drove separate and he's getting his like laptop fixed up or something I don't exactly know what he's doing and then after that, we're about to go train some upper chest at some gym called Transform, I believe. So yeah, let's go get this iPhone. What's up, big guy? What's up, little guy? So what are you even doing in your laptop? 
well, the screen's all fucked up. It's like $600 for a screen replacement, but I'm not doing that. They're just testing this like little chip that they're resetting, but it takes two hours. So how much longer is it gonna be? 30 more minutes, like 25 more minutes. Yeah. And then if that doesn't work, then I'm not gonna pay 600 for a screen replacement, so I'm just gonna get a monitor, and then I gotta plug it in. That's what I'm gonna end on. So you're just gonna like have your keyboard and then yeah, have like a monitor to look at? And just have your monitor. Yeah. And I couldn't get a iPhone 14 at Verizon because they don't have the one in stock that I'm looking for. They don't have like the high ass gigabytes, which is unfortunate because I need that because I take so many pictures and videos. So I guess I'm just chilling here for a little bit and then Dev and I are gonna go train. You just passed it. Oh. You need a haircut, my boy. Is it curly hair? No, yeah. It's all fucked up. Got the light gray cargos, pretty fresh. All right, so Devin just caught those gray cargo pants from Zara. And what's the word with your laptop? So that little reset they did on that chip didn't fix anything. So we're just going to pick up his still broken computer. And then probably, are you trying to get food? I'm probably good to I'm train. Good. Yeah. This is why I hate the city, because it's gonna take me 41 minutes to go 10 miles. I can literally run faster than that. All right, so we're starting out with dumbbell incline. We're not even gonna do flat or barbell because I already know I'm gonna be super weak, so I might as well put all my effort into the best movement to build the upper chest incline dumbbell. So we're gonna try to throw up the hundreds right now. You let my heart breathe with these. Chase the stars in a galaxy. Making our own make Cable flies and superset that with this incline chest press right here. Just get like a full upper body pump, might even hit some back, just some seated rows, and then we'll get some pretty insane pictures. So that's the plan. Yeah, we met, we met the other day and I started going through his Instagram and I was like, 
of twins. And then I started scrolling some more, and I found you. I was like, damn, these are sick. I was fully aware. Yeah, yeah. I just had to come in and make a joke. That's funny, dude. Well, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. You guys just get that working out? Yeah. yeah. We're just finishing up. Wait, who's older? He's I got me by 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes? Yeah. All right. All right. See, every time I meet, you know what's crazy? Every year of my life, I have met a pair of twins. This is crazy. Yeah. Another I saw your guys' freaking transformation suit too. Like it's sick. That is Thanks, appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. y'all, you need to like post the quad, like the leg workouts that you're doing, because I'm trying to be quadzilla. Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. He, I saw. Uh, he showed oh, yeah. us his, his conventional uh, the uh, last time we saw him, and I was like, I'll be there one day. <laughs> six thirty-five. Nah, he made that six thirty-five look smooth <laughs> like butter. It was crazy. <laughs> Thank hey, you. it was good meeting y'all. Yes, sir. Have a good workout. Damn, you got a fucking rip. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Before the video ends, I want to show you guys what I just got. So I got this small cage for my camera and then a monitor as well. So I'm about to set this all up right now and then I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. Okay, so here it is, finished product, Sony a7S III with the cage and the monitor. Now I need to get a HDMI to USB-C port because the one it came with does not go in. But this shit just looks so clean. Here's mine and Devin's first camera, the Sony A6300, just collecting dust. Then we have the A6400, and now the Cinema Rig, the A7S3. 
I don't even know. I don't even care. It doesn't even matter what function it provides. It just looks so fucking sick. That's all that matters. I just want to have it in my room and just look at it. Mm -hmm.